Hello and welcome to EHI TV. My name's Lynn Whitfield. I'm Managing Editor of eHealth Insider. And with me today, I've got John Huxma, who's our Editorial Director. Both of us have been covering this field for a very long time, so there was no doubt what the big event of this week was. It was the launch of the NAO report, the third NAO report into the National Programme for IT in the NHS. John, you got to go to the press conference. What was it like? Yeah, lucky me. Um, well, um, third time round. Um, first of the press conferences for NEO reports back in 2006, um, some five years ago. That one um, gave the national program um, pretty much green light with a couple of reservations. It would be quite nice to talk to clinicians. Um, looking forward to delivery. Um, Remarkably positive was what it we said It was the very time. positive. <laughs> and, and actually, the team responsible for the report said as much. Um, they described it as we gave it the green light on the traffic light scale. Um, and then the second NEO report um, in 2008 was um, slightly more mixed, saying delivery was running behind schedule. This time around, it was unequivocal, though. This time around, it was a big red light. Um, it said the national program isn't going to deliver on value for money. It said the national program isn't ever going to be national in its scope. Um, it's worth saying its focus specifically was on detailed care records. Um, so those detailed care records to be delivered, particularly into hospitals and community providers. Um, so it said value for money isn't going to happen. It's not going to be national in scope. The, the delivery of Lorenzo in particular is running um, some five years late. And also, of course, it contrasted, it, it contrasted a bit, doesn't it, with what BT have managed. They almost seem to be saying, well, it's very nearly working. It's just not quite as comprehensive, not quite as much as we were hoping for down the south, but at least it's going. And uh, yeah, Lorenzo is even more difficult than that up in the North, Midlands and East. Well, I mean, it, it's again kind of um, the, the report bears close reading. Um, it, it sort of stresses that um, in terms of the actual um, what was promised, in terms of the benefits that clinical systems um, would deliver, um, that we still have an awful long way to go. Even where there have been implementations, they remain mostly the administrative systems with fairly limited clinical functionality. And they say that the prognosis is poor about those more advanced um, clinical functionality of the integrated shared electronic patient records um, with clinical decision support, with um, patient pathways built in. Even though Simon Burns is telling us the Royal Free now thinks it's all absolutely wonderful and they're doing terrific things with what they've got. Well, it, it's lovely to hear that the Royal Free are now <laughs> happy bunnies. Um, you know, God knows that they've been on a journey with um, CERNA. Absolutely. The big question that comes out of this report is, what, what's the government going to do now? We've, we've got a PAC hearing next week. We know that the Cabinet Office and the Treasury are going to be all over this again. The papers are very excited. They're saying they're going to scrap it. Do you, do you think that's going to happen? Tough one to call. Um, that there's a suspicion, and certainly it was there at the press conference, that, that they were falling over themselves, um, the team at the NEO, um, to, to say, you know, this time we've really looked at it sort of carefully, um, that, you know, we may have been a bit slow drawing some of these conclusions, but, you know, it's only because we've taken a measured view. A, a cynic might suggest that they're covering themselves a bit, that they have certainly provided enough ammunition were um, the PAC or the government of the day um, so minded to pull the plug. Um, I suspect, though, that as per the history of this program, it won't be quite so dramatic. Um, you know, that they are still, um, the government, trying to kind of reach a resolution with Fujitsu. Uh, we're yeah. told that's in arbitration, but that's been a long time coming. Um, uh, if they were to get into a similar dispute with CSC after cancelling uh, their contract, um, I, I think Fujitsu would look like small beer by comparison. It's what you, what Moore was saying, isn't it? The PAC may have, uh, sorry, the NAO may have come up with this ammunition, but there's going to be an awful lot of lawyers going, yeah, well, this happened, that happened, you changed your mind, you didn't deliver it. It, it would take a very long time to sort it all out. So I, I think what remains a more likely scenario <coughs> is that this will continue to spin out a while longer, that um, CSC may be offered a more limited contract, more limited delivery. Um, in turn, they are likely to offer a more limited product, um, but it becomes a vicious um, circle, uh, a vicious spiral, rather. More of the same. More of the same. Well, less functionality means less takers for it. Um, less um, takers for it means um, reduced demand. Um, therefore, the unit price goes up. Um, it, it, it becomes a very difficult situation. Um, but those contracts remain 
difficult realities for both the suppliers um, and the NHS to deal with. Um, and in the case of CSE, it runs to 2015-16. Um, I suspect, um, difficult though this may be, that we may have quite a few years left of um, some form of the LSB deals. And next week, of course, we're going to be along at the Public Accounts Committee hearing. That's going to be very lively and should uh, generate a, a lot more interest. In the meantime, we'd actually like you, um, some of you to get involved in debating this report. We're going to have the first ever EHI tweet up. We're going to have a tweet up at hashtag EHINAO. It's going to be at 12 o'clock on Friday. That's the 20th of May. So do come along to that. We're going to be online. We hope lots of other people will be debating this report and uh, Let's see what the government does down the line.